हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स हब ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज आई टू सी एंड हाउ वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट इट इन ऑटोविनो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट टू ऑटोविनो बोर्ड्स इन आई टू सी नेटवर्क अलॉन्ग विथ कोड एक्सप्लेनेशन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो गाइज आई टू सी स्टैंड फॉर इंटर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट which is multi master multi slave serial computer bus invented in 1982 by philips semiconductor i2c uses only two bidirectional open drain lines that is sda serial data line and scl serial clock line common i2c bus speeds are 100 kb per second which is standard mode or 400 kb per second which is fast mode Now let us see basic block diagram of general I2C network. As we can see in diagram, we have one master and multiple slave devices or let's say sensors connected in I2C network. Depending on network conditions, pull up resistors are connected. Generally it is between 2 kilo ohms to 10 kilo ohm. Each slave device has its own unique address which is used by a master for communication. This diagram shows general frame format structure of I2C communication. Communication begins with start signal from master followed by slave address. Then there is a read or write bit which indicates whether master wants to read or write into slave's memory registers. For example, consider I2C master wants to write configuration data as 0xaa into config register say 32x. Then I2C master will prepare I2C frame as start bit then slave address followed by write bit then config register address that is 0x32 and data as 0xaa in slave side as soon as slave detects start condition on SDA line it will listen to slave address if it is matched slave will send acknowledge signal to master and do the needful in case sensor data is requested from slave it will put data byte on i2c bus after receiving slave address and config register address well at the first time it seems to be difficult right but it is very easy to write code for what we know thanks for the wire library developers because of which writing i2c code for arduino has become a super simple now let's move on to hardware connection We will use Arduino Uno as I2C master and Arduino Nano as I2C slave for the demonstration. For Arduino Uno, A4 pin is SDA and A5 is SCL. Connect A4 and A5 pins of Arduino Uno to Arduino Nano. Also make sure ground pins are connected. That's it. Now it's turn for software part. This is code for I2C master. which is arduino uno in our case here we will send on off signals to i2c slave with 2 seconds of delay on i2c slave side we will control led connected to pin 13 depending on the signal so to start arduino as a master use command y dot begin without any arguments then in void loop use y dot begin transmission 0x40 which will generate start signals followed by slave address 0x40 then use y dot write 0 which will write character 0 on i2c bus then use y dot end transmission to send the end signal then give some delay and followed by the same instructions this time use y dot write 1 to send 1 as a data on i2c bus while on the other hand on slave side Use y dot begin 0x40 to start Arduino I as I2C slave with 0x40 as address. Then use y dot on receive receive event, which will trigger receive event function on reception of any data on I2C bus. Then initialize serial bus and pin number 13 as usual. Inside function receive event. If data is available in I2C buffer is more than one, read that data and print it on serial monitor for the debug purpose. Then 
write your control actions. If receive data is 0, then turn off LED. Otherwise, if data is 1, turn on LED. That's it. Now, let's compile and upload this code and test its functionality. But before that, check out the link down below in the description for the complete code and connection diagram. Let's compile for the master and followed by the slave. Let's upload the code for the master followed by slave. Here we can see terminal output from Arduino Nano which prints data received from I2C master. We are getting data as 0, 1, 0, 1 with the delay of 2 seconds. Along with that LED status is getting changed according to the data received from the master. That's it for this video guys, hit like button if you like this video and share with your friends if you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out my website for complete description for this project. You can get the link down below in the description. And thanks for watching video, I am Varad Kulkarni, signing off.